It's Kingdom Business, baby. My name is Miles, and you're listening to the Kingdom Business Podcast, the best platform to be on right now. And what I want you to do for me is just to pause and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification so that anytime we upload, you will receive our content. Uh, the world is going through a very hard moment right now, and uh, a lot of people are, 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 are being in fear and panic. But what I want you to know is that fear not. Do not worry about anything because God and his angels are watching over you. You know, there's a part in the Bible in the books of 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 16 when Elijah's servant uh, was very panicked and was, was very afraid because of the people that were surrounding them. And Elijah told him that, fear not for they that are with us are more than they that are with them. And he prayed a prayer that God would open his servant's eyes to see the chariots of fire that were all around them. And this age, this time, I just want you to see that the chariots of fire of heaven that is around you is more than or are more than anything that could kill you. They cannot touch you. They will not kill you. But in a state of a lockdown, a lot of people will be going through uh, a lot of depression, anxiety, uh, suicidal thoughts. And uh, the Lord put it on my heart just to address the issue on, on this matter. Because because of the lockdown, uh, the mental state of people would be questioning. A lot of mental state problems would happen. And we have a lot of people that are depressed already because of the lockdown. But somebody will ask me, what is depression what is depression uh, depression is a disorder of the brain and there are a variety of causes which might include genetic environmental psychological and biochemical factors uh, somebody also asked me how do i know the person is suffering from depression well lost of interest is one area you can you can know that somebody is suffering from depression uh, they they feel excessive guiltiness of something uh, they have suicidal thoughts agitation change of appetite and many more and and these things can end up hurting the person in the long run but what i want you to know is that there is a sure way to overcome depression in these times and that is the word of god the word of god has been tried and tested over time if you're going through depression right now i'm just going to go straight to it the word of god can help you in this time of the lockdown that is happening all around the world i want you to open your bibles to the book of uh timothy I would want you to open your Bible to 2 Timothy 1 7 and it reads, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. I want you to meditate upon this word and tell yourself that God, the creator, the man who created you, the spirit that created you, has not giving you the spirit of fear has not given you the spirit of suicide has not given you the spirit of depression but he has given you a spirit of power of love and of sound mind you know anything that is making you feel guilty anything that is making you feel anxiety anything that is making you feel uh, like like you want to kill yourself i want to tell you that god didn't give you that spirit or god is not the one giving you that thought it is the enemy so just meditate upon this word that the power that god has given you the love that he loves you the bible said he sent his only begotten son to die for us that those who believe in him would have an everlasting life but the beginning of that scripture he said for god so loved us he loved us. That is why he gave his only begotten son. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And there is nothing that, that would overshadow that. He has also given you a free sound mind. That depression will not have authority over your mind. Because God has given you a sound mind. Keep telling yourself that. Meditate upon this word. And you see the fruit thereof. I also want you to look at uh, the scripture in the book of uh, 
Psalm 91. And this one is my favorite. He said, He who dwells in the secret place of Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Anyone that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Do you know what? If you are dwelling in the secret place, the spirit of depression or anxiety or bipolar or suicidal thoughts cannot have authority over you because God has hidden you in his secret place. In the verse 2 of that of that scripture, he said, I will say of the Lord, my God, my God, that he's my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence, the pestilence of coronavirus, the pestilence of depression, anxiety, bipolar does not have authority over you. Do you know why? Because you are in the secret place of the most high God. That is what he said. My brother and my sister that is going through depression, meditate upon this word of God. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 5. Know that you are in the secret place of the Most High and He has given you sound mind in the secret place so the devil or depression cannot have authority over you right now. Tell yourself right now that you are overcoming it by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the sure way to overcome depression. I'm telling you, this is a seed. That depression cannot fight. And that is the word of God. If you dwell in the secret place, God himself and his angels are around you. By his spirit, he is brooding over your mind that you overcome it in the name of Jesus. You have the sound mind of God. You are a victor of God. You can never be depressed in the name of Jesus because the Lord's word is in your heart. Also, what I want you to do is just to pick up a phone. Call a brother that you know that you trust, that whatever you tell him, he's not going to tell other people about it. Don't worry, what you're going through is not madness. It's just a state that the diabolic spirit used to confuse you and to bring you to a place whereby you will look down upon yourself, whereby you you will lose sight of what is going around you. But I want you to tell you that God's word has overcome all of them in the name of Jesus. You know what? You're a miracle looking for a place to happen. Pick up a phone. Call your mother. Call a brother. Call your father. Call a friend. And just check up on them. Speak to them about the issue. Also, if you're not having a good dietary system, eat well. Eat a lot of fruits. Eat banana. Take oranges. You know, take the beautiful fruits that God has given us. And you know what? This situation will be overcome by the word of God. On that note, I want to tell you that uh, if you have any comment, if you have been blessed by this, know that you can just leave a comment so that somebody else will be encouraged. On that note, God richly bless you. We are also going to drop another content pretty shortly. So stay tuned for that. And I will make sure to leave my email there. Just call us, send us an email, and then we'll be happy to hear from you. On that note, God bless richly bless you and you are a blessing about to be manifested in the name of jesus stay blessed